So if she's angry, I'll pull right, I'll pull all that right out. It's a great way to get rid of anger. Now, when I'm working on other organs, like on the other side, stomach and spleen, I usually go in there gently, but I imagine my fingers are this long, so when I'm reaching in, I grab that and pull it out. Okay, those are some of the techniques in the hand position. Now, when I'm going to work on her head, I'm going to come up here, and I'm just going to put one hand on each side of her head, and I'm just going to feel the energy, allow her to relax. She's relaxing. And I'm just feeling the energy. So I'm moving it from my left hand to my right hand, left hand, right hand. I'm going back and forth. Now, I'm just going to gently place my hand on her shoulders. And when I do that, I'm just going to wash the whole body with like a beautiful blue light. And I'm just going to push the energy and allow the energy to flow through both, all of her, both of her hands, outer fingers, down her body, outer toes, and just allow the energy like a beautiful cooling blue light just to flow all through the body. Now this is really important. At the end of the treatment, I like to do this. So I'm going to reach up into the heavens. I'm going to grab like a bolt of, not lightning, but a bolt of white healing light. I'm going to put it right into her forehead. I'm going to grab another one and I'm going to pull it right into her heart. And the last one right into the lower tantia. And then seal the body. So when I'm sealing, I'm doing like figure eights around the body and letting everything cool out. Let the patient relax for a little bit. Then I gently. I'm going to place my hand under her neck, and then I'm going to ask you to sit up, okay? And I'm just going to gently help her sit up like that, make sure the body's cleared. Okay, well, thank you for being my model. It was great. It's Dr. Wu. Keep on practicing. It's 7 o'clock at night, and everybody's just leaving the office. Before I leave the office, what I like to do is I like to clear all the junk from all the patients that I worked on all day. All day we accumulate tension, no matter if you're at work, you're at play, whatever you are, you have interaction, you get tense. You get these tensions sort of weigh on you. So by the time you're leaving, going home, you're going, oh, I'm so tired, I can't wait to go home, turn on the television, drink a beer, and hang out. Bad idea. What you want to do is you want to take off that invisible net of tension. I don't care if you're a student, if you're a doctor, a lawyer, a merchant, whatever you're doing, you build up tensions. This exercise is a great one. Here's how it starts. Two of them, two exercises. One is called dry crying. Dry crying is, remember you were a little kid and somebody said something to you and you started to cry and you went ah, 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 like that, you know, his body shakes. So here's how you do the dry crying. You're sort of going to lean back, your hands are behind you, and you start to breathe in, ah, ah, put your hands up, ah, ah, and just let your body shake. <laughs> they may think you're crazy, but what you're going to do is you're going to free up all that tension. Now there's another exercise that's great for freeing up tension. It's the one I've showed you before, but let's review it again. It's called the old man gets the pearl at the bottom of the tide pool. It's a story about a guy, the way he made his living, he used to go down to the tide pools and he would collect whatever's in the tide pool, fish, clams, oysters, whatever he could get. He'd bring that home for his wife and his family and so he'd make a living. One night he went down to the tide pools carrying his lantern and his net. He went down to the pools. He got down to the pools and he put down his lantern. He looked down in the tide pool and there was a pearl this big. It was huge. 
he thought if he could get this girl, he would be a wealthy man. He would be famous. He'd never have to work. His wife would never have to work. His children wouldn't have to work. So he reached down into the tide pools and he started to move the water. And he kept moving. But he couldn't get the pearl. He didn't understand. And he stood up and he went, when he stood up, he saw the full moon. He went, ah. And then he realized it was just the reflection of the pool. He went, oh, no money. And that's the exercise to release the lungs, the liver. The liver stores the anger. Release the heart, anxiety and the lung sadness and grief. If you do that exercise on a regular basis, you will clear all those organs. So again, dry crying, hands up. <laughs> you might want to do this at home by yourself. They may think you're a little off, but it'll clear the whole body. And then the old man exercise. And once you clear those two, you will be in great shape. You like take off all the schmutz, you take off all the dirty energy, you take that spider web of negative energy that weighs you down, whew, you throw that out, you're ready to have a good night. It's Dr. Wu. Keep on practicing.